All right, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to mirror the armature and make this, this same one, but for the right side. And to start with this, we need to go to edit mode in the top left. And what we want to do is we want to select the whole, the entire left side here. So we want to select all the bones except for the root bone. And the easiest way to do that is pressing A, like this, um, with the rig selected, of course, so it doesn't select the mesh and all that. So make sure that your, your rig is selected in object mode first, and then go to edit mode and press A. And then deselect the root by shift, shift right click. And then we want to make sure that the 3D cursor is centered. And this is very important that it's centered, because if it's not centered, then these bones might end up a little bit off. They might not be perfect. So make sure it's centered by pressing Shift S and 1. And I think it was centered before, so it's, but yeah, that's, it's important. And um, the next thing we want to do is we want to change the pivot point. So we want the pivot point to actually be in the center here. So go up to the top center menu here and choose um, 3D cursor. And now we can see that the pivot is actually rotating around the, the 3D cursor, which is centered. And so now we can actually select all these and duplicate them and then scale them on the X, X axis so that they're gonna be perfectly mirrored on this side. So with the le left side bones selected here, and not, not the root bone, just the le left side bones, we can press W, and it's gonna bring up this armature context menu. And there's a bunch of stuff you can do here. You can subdivide, you can duplicate, all that. But we are going to use symmetry, symmetrize. Symmetrize? Is that, uh, yeah, I think that's how you say it. And um, basically what this does, it just, copies the bones and, and flips them to the other side. Uh, so let's press that. And there we go. And the great thing about this is that it actually renames the bones automatically. So that's why it's so important that you make sure that the naming convention is con correct. And because if we end the names here with underscore L, it's very important that we use the underscore L here because then Blender actually knows that this is the left side and it's actually going to automatically add an R here so it's going to be underscore R which is perfect so we don't have to do that manually and we can just check the hierarchy here and see if it looks okay and yeah it looks it looks okay it's we got the root bone here and then we have the upper arm upper arm right the hand, and we got all the fingers, and we got all the controller bones as well, which is great. And now we can actually switch back the 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 point here to to individual origins. No, we want to set it to me. No. Active element, there we go. Act active element, that's what you want. And yeah, that's it for mirroring the armature. Uh, you can double check and make sure that all the names are still correct. Uh, make sure that there's nothing weird going on, but it seems to have worked just fine. So we can actually, uh, now we can actually disable these, the axes and the, the names, because it can get a bit messy, as we can see over here. So let's go here and turn off the names and the accesses. There we go. Oh, and we also want to add a, a, a new bone group for the right side bones. So let's just go back to object mode. Sorry, let's go back to post mode. And let's add the same one, but let's call it right. So controller bones, right. And we can give them a different color. So let's give them 
the blue one, for example. And let's just select all the controller bones for the right side. So hold down shift and select them and then assign these ones. There we go. So now we have a, a blue side. We got team blue and team red here. And um, it's really easy to tell which one is which. So left side is red, right side is blue, which is very convenient. All right, and that's it for this, this lecture. It was a pretty fast one, but still. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next lecture.